Hey guys, we're up in St. Pete today. We found another interesting boat to tour here. This one's a Gorbin 53 2008. It was custom built in Turkey. It's a pretty cool boat and it's in really good shape. So let's go take a look. Before we hop aboard this boat, we just wanted to do a brief reminder about hitting that subscribe button. We have a lot of people who are following along with our boat tours but aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So if you go ahead and click that big red button that says subscribe, you can follow along with each of our videos. This is our boat now. Oh my God. <laughs> Very interesting boat. Already I see it has boom furling. Uh, hydraulic, is that what I would say, boom bang? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. And then it also has, so one other boat we toured had this, the rod rigging. But these chain plates are massive. Yeah, these are bigger than really any other boat that we've seen. Of this size, yeah, that we've seen. Also, it looks like this is a self-tacking jib. It is. Self-tacker for the jib right there, the traveler. Teak deck, obviously. It's a new teak deck, though, so this boat was built about 11 years ago. I think it's a 2008, so there's no, there's no screws or nails going into the deck. It looks oh, like it's glued wow. down. That's interesting. What's that hatch go to, you think? There's a secondary hatch down there. There's your chain locker. Or do you think that's just a spare hatch sitting there? No, I think it goes to something. So this is access for the bow thruster. It's kind of wet down there. I'm not really sure how wet it's supposed to be, but... Yeah, we don't have one of those. <laughs> Jordan's already dripping with sweat. It's, slow. it's Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have an electric windlass and furler for the head sail. Both electric. Dual bow rollers. That's nice, yeah. Oops. Single head sail, but with a self tacker, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. I did notice there are some blemishes on the deck. So you might want some more like non-skid. Yeah, I need some more non-skid right here. Yeah. I'm not really sure what that's about. It looks like it maybe just was too thin. Yeah. And wore down. I mean, a quick coat of Kiwi Grip will yeah. fix that or something. It looks like stainless steel port lights. Nice blocks and line organization. There's a couple mast steps, but only a couple it looks like. Yeah, it looks like just to get up to the boom. Yeah. Out of the way of your feet, which is nice. Yeah. Now this uh, cockpit is really nice. You can tell it's like custom designed and like the cushions all go with the boat. Yeah, this is definitely one of the highlights of this boat. I mean, look at how big this, this cockpit is and look at, you know, how much room there is to relax and hang out. Yeah. So this is the dive platform here, which is really nice. Looks like there's a big lazarette here. It's your emergency tiller. Yep, and access for the lazarettes inside. But yeah, that's a big rudder stock right there. Yeah. You got a big pole right here for the radar. It looks like it could be TV or internet or something like that. Yeah, I was opening this one. Oh wow, that's a big compartment. It's got a ladder down into it. And then down here, as you can see, I'm below the cockpit, and that is a huge, huge flywheel <laughs> for the rudder stock. That rudder stock is huge as well. But yeah, this is a big, big storage compartment, big equipment room, pretty cool. This is not even the engine room yet, so this is just kind of the steering room and the equipment room, I guess. All right, 
All right. So we don't need to go down there because you guys saw that already yeah, pretty much. The same. You can see it from where I was right there. But here's the helms. So you have light controls, windless control, and horn on both sides. You've got GPS on both sides. And what do you think this is? Take a look at it. Wind instruments? Autopilot. Autopilot? Yes. Okay. But from the helms, you have really, really good. You can see through the deck salon and you can see around it as well while you're yeah. sailing. So no shortage of winches either. There's three winches on each side. And then I think below me is possibly the engine compartment. Oh yeah. So this is just the back half of the engine compartment and it's accessible from the cockpit. So up here, it's a pretty good spot for some solar panels on top of the pilot house and deck salon or whatever. But also, I could see this extending out some more mm. and maybe putting some solar panels right here as well. But definitely a lot of room for them. All right, so it looks like a pretty secure door, which I think is important if it's like a cat size situation, which hopefully never happened. I don't know why my mind goes there. <laughs> But it also has a doggy door. Yeah, it has a doggy door. Yeah, but very friend. But yeah, that's a very, very solid feeling door. Yeah. So you got a nav station over here that they've set up with a PC and everything. Um, communication, so you have VHF, you have your electric panel or distribution panel. And I see lots of things. Lots of things. Look at this pilot house. Deck yeah, salon. So nice. You can see all around. There's ports all around to look through, which is nice. Yeah. Nice um, eating area here. Captain's chair. Compass. Another VHF. DC distribution, I think. Lots of different there's more, panels. Yeah. Yeah, there's sub panels down here. Battery for, monitor. For things. But this is, look at the view from. Yeah. This secondary helm right here. I mean, do you imagine being on watch and? I know, very nice. You could definitely remain comfortable. Yeah. It has windshield wipers. Look at that. That's the view right there. Beautiful view. Oh yeah, generator. Oh, it's the generator. Yeah, with the engine back there. So there's the generator more equipment and then the engine is right there so you can access the engine from up here and down there so then down and forward you have your galley I just noticed this is a nice, hand nice little feature right there uh, in the here here so you have a gimbal stove, looks like a three burner, refrigeration, a freezer behind you, microwave, nice little sink. There, then it clicks. Oh, so that's a lot of storage. That's cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. It's like different ways to store things. Yeah, it looks like that might lift up on that side too. Oh, neat. So you could really hide some stuff in there. Yeah. Garbage disposal. That's cool. I've never seen that on a boat. And you want to inspect your chain plate? Boom. Oh yeah, your chain plate's wide open. No, it's nice. still through deck though, so you'd still have to. Yeah, I guess you would kind of have to take it apart to inspect it. Looks good. But I mean, it's still, yeah, much better than most boats access. Just forward of the galley, you have this wet head right here. Man, the woodwork in this boat is just, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah, I was noticing most boats have like a thicker panel here, but then these middle panels are really thin and these are not at all. It's just really nice, well done. Everything is just really solid. You got your mast. 
moving forward of that, you have a vinegar. This is the basically the main cabin. Yeah. You got lots of storage on the sides. Again, just beautiful, beautiful woodwork. You have your hanging locker here. Beautiful. Another fire extinguisher. So this is a head that's in the full master. I don't know what would you call it. Yeah. So this is the main head. This is the like the, head. the master head, I guess. Yeah. So this is a two head, two cabin design, and this has a huge shower, really big shower. And then what I like in here is a, a wet locker inside the shower. So you can hang up, you know, wet clothes or bathing suits or foul weather jackets. That's really nice. And Randy's opening stuff up behind that. Like always. You have your electric head. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. And then and we it. skipped over one other birth area. Ooh, you know what? Look at that. That's like the one area I've seen where, I don't know if this port like leaked down or something. Yeah. It's the one area of water damage. Yeah. Ooh, actually. Is it the chain plate that's leaking? It might have been the chain plate at one point. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the chain plate was probably leaking at some point. So that I would inspect. It's grounded though, which is yeah. nice. Not everybody does that. Yeah. And then you have your guest cabin, essentially. And the AC is blowing nice and cold. Yeah, it is. I could stay in here. <laughs> Oh, it looks like, okay, so there's little drawers under the berths and in between the berths, too. Really nice. And the headliner, I don't know that we've really shown it throughout, but it yeah. would be nice and easy to clean. Yeah, it's a really nice headliner. It's been throughout the boat just like this. These actually look like newfound metal ports. They look just like ours. I think they yeah, are newfound metals. They are newfound metals. Stainless. Cool. Very, very nice. All right, guys, so as we've been doing in all our videos recently, I'm going to do a full walkthrough from the bow to the stern of the boat, just a continuous walkthrough without stopping. So we're in the main cabin. It's the V berth. It's a nice big island berth, queen size, turning around. You've got the main head with the separate shower. And this is only accessible from inside the main cabin. And to starboard, you have the secondary head, it's a wet head. And then to port, you have the second cabin with two single berths. And then again to starboard, you have the U-shaped galley. Going up into the deck salon or the pilot house, you have the secondary helm position. You have lots of settees, nav station here, the relaxation area right here. And out the, I guess you'd call it companionway door. And you're in the big cockpit. So what did you think about the boat? It was really, it was a really cool boat, obviously. I mean, we think a lot of these boats are pretty cool. Yeah. But this boat especially was in just amazing, amazing shape. It definitely was in really good shape. It had a lot of interesting storage features and easy access to everything throughout the boat, which is really nice whenever you need to work on something. I love the helm positions, having the dual helms. Yes, that really is cool. really cool. The cockpit too is so nice. Mm -hmm. Like it's just really well laid out. The one thing about the cockpit though is there's really no shade. But if you want shade, I guess you just go into the pilot house area. You could also probably add some sort of bimini or something that could yeah. be removable. I mean, even uh, like Amel's have the shades that come out of mm -hmm. this out, if you're out of at, the boom. At anchor or something yeah. like that. Yeah, definitely. And I keep calling it a pilot house, but it's technically called a deck saloon. So it yeah. is definitely a neat boat. The um, galley was really nice. The accommodations were really well done, I thought. Yeah, yeah, it was it was just awesome. Like the not having a real companion way, real. I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know if you oh, consider that a companion way because yeah. it was like a full door that you would normally see like on a catamaran. Yeah. And you just 
kind of walk through from the cockpit into the deck salon. It really, the cockpit area, the dual helms, the deck salon, it really felt like it was more of a, almost like a catamaran, but on a mono, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. cause it was very wide. It was very open, very, you know, usable space, a lot of interior space that's protected. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, lounge area, you know, and except it was, you know, on only one hole instead of two. Yeah. I did think it was interesting the aft portion of the boat that all of that space under the cockpit was like storage space. Mm -hmm. That there wasn't really anything under there, but I guess that's because it's a deck saloon and it has like that whole level yeah. there. So that was kind of interesting because all of the accommodations are then forward. Yeah. But it worked. I mean, there is still multiple places to sleep people and to be living in. Yeah, and I, I, I'm a firm believer in having a lot of storage space. So yes, that's yes. Really good. That there was like a couple big storage equipment areas, but there wasn't really much to separate things, you know. I guess the logic there would be that if you have bigger things to store, you can, and then you can put in dividers as you need yeah. it. Personally, I'd like to see kind of dividers so you can put fenders here and like yeah. life jackets here and like, you know, something like that, just so it doesn't get all like in a big one big pile Yeah, down there. But I mean, that's kind of picking yeah that's kind of uh splitting hairs here yeah. i mean that's it was that definitely was awesome. a cool boat with lots of cool features like the electric furler up front um the boom furling it, it was a neat boat for yeah. sure quality wise it was yes. just amazing like the woodwork inside was amazing so supposedly they, there was over one and a half million spent to build this boat in turkey in turkey and i think there was a recent refit in florida that was around 200,000 is what they said. Okay. So there's been a lot of money that's gone into this boat. So even though the price is kind of on the higher end of most of the boats we tour, it's a great value for what you get. Mm -hmm. It's an 11 year old boat. I mean, it's it's basically- That's not that old. <laughs> no, in the grand scheme of things, that's not that old as far as boats go. I mean, everything is just in such great shape and yeah. it's, yeah, I mean, it's. I, I think it's worth it as far as the price goes. We're gonna put the current asking price in the description below along with the contact information for the broker who was able to show us this boat today. So we thank him for that. Yes, he actually works with AMI Kids. So this is another boat that was donated to their program for boat sales and any profits made off of this boat's sale will go back to the AMI program. So we're also gonna put the information for AMI Kids in the description below as well. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to follow along with our journey. And if you want to know each and every time we upload a video, go ahead and hit that notification bell. See you guys. Bye. I've got it right and I got it wrong. But I learned my lesson hanging on. Come sit here with me by the fire.